Hello, I'm Assistant Chief Denise Shadinger, and I will be providing a presentation on automated license plate readers, otherwise known as ALPRs. The objectives of this presentation are to provide an overview of automated license plate reader technology, an overview of the police department's ALPR program, and information on planned additions to the ALPR program. The police department has increased the use of contemporary technology in order to keep the community safe. Many of these systems are familiar to community members in the form of community cameras, traffic cameras, and ALPRs. The police department often receives requests from neighborhoods to add additional cameras in public spaces, like parks, sports fields, or in areas where violent crime has recently occurred. ALPR technology is a fixed or mobile license plate recognition camera that takes photos of license plates capturing the date, time, and GPS coordinates of where the photo was taken. It is a means to gather objective evidence and facts about vehicles. Photos are retained in a searchable database where vehicles can be searched by make, model, color, license plate number, or unique identifying information such as previous traffic collision damage or bumper stickers and decals. The system can also alert police to vehicles that have been reported stolen or involved in a crime. ALPR technology is not facial recognition. It is not tied to personal identifying information of the driver or passengers of the vehicle. It is not used for immigration or traffic enforcement. The police department's ALPR program started in 2017 with the purchase of three mobile ALPRs. In 2019, the program expanded to 12 mobile ALPRs. These mobile ALPRs were affixed to the top of police patrol vehicles, much like seen in the photograph here. The policy of the police department is to utilize ALPR technology to capture and store digital license plate data and images while recognizing the established privacy rights of the community. All employees who are authorized to access the ALPR data must undergo specific training. Data can only be accessed with an assigned login and password. Audits are done regularly in the system to ensure data is accessed and used only under authorized conditions. The program is managed by a police commander. A copy of this policy can be found on the police department's website homepage under the Transparency tab. ALPR technology is used at crime scenes to collect vehicle data from the immediate area. It has been instrumental in assisting detectives in solving crime in the city since the program's implementation. Property crimes detectives investigating multiple pharmacy burglaries in the city used ALPR data to locate the suspect vehicle. Because of the technology, detectives learned that the suspects involved in the case were coming to Oxnard from Los Angeles, committing the burglaries and leaving the area. Later, it was discovered that these same suspects were involved in a string of Ventura County pharmacy burglaries. The ALPR technology helped identify the suspects who were later arrested and convicted of these crimes. ALPR technology is used to make arrests for auto theft crimes. Auto theft detectives have attributed 80 to 100 arrests and convictions from the use of ALPR technology. During the investigation of a homicide, a city of Port Wainimi ALPR camera captured the suspect's vehicle earlier in the day near a crime scene. Distinct characteristics of this vehicle seen on other surveillance cameras allowed investigators to determine that it was in fact the suspect vehicle. The ALPR allowed investigators to capture a license plate 
and quickly identify the suspect who was arrested within 10 days of the crime. During the investigation of a shooting where a victim was injured, detectives located surveillance footage from a residence that captured the shooting in progress. A city of Port Wainimi ALPR captured the vehicle leaving the area and provided the investigators with a license plate. A suspect was identified and arrested for this crime. The police department plans to add 20 fixed location ALPRs to the program in the coming year. These cameras are currently used in the cities of Port Wainimi and Ventura. The Ventura County Sheriff's Office will be starting a fixed location ALPR program throughout the county later this year. There is also one homeowners association in the city of Oxnard that uses ALPRs in their community. These fixed ALPRs will be placed in designated locations throughout the city. These public place locations will be determined using an analysis of crime data over the last 10 years. They will focus on locations where violent crime has occurred and layered in with existing cameras, including community cameras and other agencies, ALPRs. They take into account the routes of travel to, from, and around violent crime hotspot locations. The photos seen here are examples of fixed position ALPRs. All ALPR footage is owned by the agency and will not be sold or shared. Fixed location ALPR data has a 30 day retention period and mobile ALPR data has the retention period of one year. Shorter retention periods ensure data that is not associated with a crime is automatically deleted and unrecoverable. An audit is conducted on a regular basis of these systems to ensure that data is only used under authorized conditions. Once again, ALPR technology is not facial recognition software. It is not used for immigration or traffic enforcement. There's no personal identifying information contained in this data, and it is not connected to registration data or third-party databases, including Carfax or the DMV. If you have any questions about this presentation, I will be present at the meeting. Thank you very much for your time and attention.